Committee on Defense Issues and Foreign Relations has begun a vetting process on the 27 selected ambassadorial nominees. The nominees were tasked to give a clear plan of how they will serve the nation and strengthen uh, ties with other nations. Stanley Lugaria has more details. It is a list that consists of 27 nominees, and today the process of vetting them to establish their suitability to represent the country and hold the diplomatic relations of the country at par began. Four of them walking through the corridors of parliament to defend themselves and convince the committee of the Department of Defense, Intelligence and Foreign Relations that they are indeed cut for the job. I'm told we didn't have a clear copy, so he has come with the originals. Oh, good. Yep. Isaac Prashina, nominee Nigeria. I believe that for the last three years, that has been one of my private assignments to understand what it entails in terms of international relations and diplomacy work. Janet Mosasi Oben, nominee Kigali, Rwanda. How would you ensure that you are protecting Kenya's interests in terms of coffee export from Kenya to Rwanda? Peter Munyeri could be headed to India if his nomination is approved. I'll use it in terms of identifying and knowing where all these monies and all these people they are sitting for purposes of then getting that become a transition to a benefit on this side of our country. And finally, General Raymond Rumo could be the face of Kenya in South Africa. The question of net worth took center stage, with Mwasasi and Munyiri declaring that they are worth 60 million and 300 million shillings respectively. The nominees were put to task to explain how they could represent the country, with their conduct putting some of them in the hot seat. You seem to have developed a career out of vying for positions. Countries are arming themselves in readiness for a perceived conflict or a war. Uh, East African communities is not left behind. I think you are uh, going right inside uh, this conflict. I just want to know how well you are equipped to, because as an ambassador you will be at the center of uh, conflict resolutions and what have you. And just in case if you know the five pillars of the foreign policy. We already have those East African Nairobi-led uh, uh, process. I, I, I will, if given this opportunity, uh, continue to entrench um, uh, or participate in that East African led process. The National Assembly Departmental Committee on Foreign Affairs has officially kicked off the process of vetting the 27 appointees or nominees for the position of ambassadors and high commissioners across the world. Today being the opportunity for four to explain why they fit the positions. The committee has called on them to ensure and show that why they really fit for the positions. Stanley Lugaria, Look Up TV, it's a central business district, Nairobi. Thank you so much.